Hey Nerebs, it's Warsaw Blondie sending in, and today, oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> so I decided to build the house from the Vampire Diaries, more specifically, the Salvatore's house. Um, <laughs> I had lots of fun doing this. It was very challenging. I knew I was going to need a huge lot, so I grabbed a 30 by 40 and almost filled up every square inch. Now, if you've never seen this series, um, uh, it's about vampires, and so that's why, I guess you guys know, um, but the vampire, um, what is it, the extension pack? No, game pack, there we go, I got it. Um, that came out, and so... I just like, okay, what's vampires? What's something I love to do with vampires that I kind of want to build? And then I was just kind of doing my own thing, and I realized it. Like, it hit me. I'm like, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to build the Salvatore house. So, the Salvatores are some decently old vampires. They're about 180-ish years old. They have a mansion in Mystic Falls. Um, and based off of one picture I was able to do the outside. Now there isn't any like blueprints. I did look of the actual mansion and there well there is blueprints but none of them seem accurate to the building that I saw. And when I saw that building when I googled it, I was like, yeah, that one. <laughs> that one's the Salvatore house. I can recognize it. So that's kind of where that came from. But yeah, no like I <laughs> did the outside first because I knew that was going to be the most challenging. I wanted to try and get the structure of the house done before I continued um, because I knew the inside I'd have to kind of make up my own stuff and create some Easter eggs and do all that stuff because I don't know if you guys know this, but the house, like, because there's been so many seasons, there's just so many, like, the houses have definitely changed through the seasons, but this house is the most used one, which is why I particularly used this one. It's, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I made this. It's so amazing, and I just wish all of you guys could play on it right now. <laughs> it is really expensive, though, so I'm not sure if, like, your sims could use it. I think the reason why it is so expensive is because, like, if you go into, like, any old vampire's house, you definitely find, like, a lot of paintings and stuff. And so, because I was basing it off of the actual building and, like, what I've seen in the show, there is a ton of really expensive frames and such around the lines of that. So, it gets kind of crazy, to be honest. Um... But yeah, like this is me just creating the outside of the house and starting to do the roof. There's this really awesome peaky thingy that I did, or I tried to do. Uh, I think that actually turned out really well. Now the roof, because it is so, like, interesting and has a lot of, like, dimension to it, um, the overall roof itself is actually very different. Um and goes through the actual house, which pretty much means that, um, <laughs> it was really hard to work with. Now, I did fix it whenever you see the final product. It does, it is fixed totally fine, but when you're playing on it, some pieces look like they are a different color when they're actually the proper color. Also, the roof started glitching out on me when I was trying to, like, fix and finish the actual build itself, because, um, as you can see, it's really hard to put some pieces of roof together, um, from a real life photo, um, to a photo that you just kind of found, and you're just like, yeah, this, this should work. <laughs> and so you try and make, like, the roof merge it together, and it, it just doesn't work. Uh, but I did try my best to make it look fairly pretty. Um, I, I think it actually turned out really well, in my personal opinion. So, yeah, I don't know if it's because I created that room there that that, that particular roof freaked out, but, um, yeah, it, <laughs> this, so, by the way, this is going to be in two parts. I didn't build a whole mansion in, in one, <laughs> in one part, because I always have it, I'd hate a hundred times the speed, um, because I feel like that's a good number, um, and it looks good, 
I personally think. But yeah, I know, like, literally, this is two parts. The first part will be released, obviously, when you're seeing it, and the next part will be released next week. Same date, same time, all that stuff. It's like the house, whole house is already finished. It's actually already on the gallery. So if you feel like going and seeing what it finally looks like a week before or in advance, go for it, man. I would love to see you guys playing in it. Um... But yeah, no, so like, <laughs> this is really crazy. So the interesting part about this house is it's very, like, wide, obviously. Like, it's very wide, but it's very narrow. Now that I do extend a little bit, like, pieces here and there, because I'm like, why am I making it this so narrow to make it more difficult on myself? I don't know. But because of that, obviously, it uh, definitely changed the way I saw things. And, like, having to build was kind of a bit of a challenge and you'll see how everything turns out um because every like there's no rooms going horizontally all of them are going vertically um except for the kitchen and dining room area uh now i did add some really random and weird things here and there um i think this is when i noticed the roof was going all weird and stuff and i was like what's going on with my roof why are you going through the house Oh, no. You know what it was? It was the fact that, like, this particular, like, floor was, like, light when it was supposed to be dark. Like, like that room there. And I was like, what's going on with the room? Why isn't it dark? Isn't it, like, did I mess something up? Uh, I don't remember how I fixed it, but everything works, so I wouldn't worry about it, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, no, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, I didn't, like, I knew I wanted to do something big. But I didn't know how big, and I feel like this went really big. <laughs> like, I went really big on this build, and I am so happy I did. It looks absolutely amazing. Like, the whole thing, it's just... I don't know, like, I bought the Vampire Expansion Pack because I was so excited to build this. And I thought about it when they were announcing the pack, and I was like, okay, I need, I need to buy this pack. And, I, and usually I wait for packs to be on sale before I buy them, so this is actually the first pack I bought that wasn't on sale. My bad, don't tell anyone, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like, it was, it's very interesting, because, like, when I was building this house, like, after... I was done the outside. I was actually like so impressed with myself because I have never made something this big and so accurate that it's kind of crazy. And because I've talked about it so much, I'm going to throw a picture up on the screen right now. Um, just because I just I <laughs> I'm so happy with it, and I'll throw it again up again um, when it kind of comes together a bit more. But yeah, no, it's kind of crazy, especially because I, I have a lot of troubles with two major things. One, I have troubles with, like, f like, I don't know, like, what's it called? Um, I can't even pronounce it. I don't pronounce it. Think of the word. Plants and flowers and gardens. That's thing. I have troubles with gardens. Um, and so me trying to add some more inf to it, and then I feel like I add too much, or it's not enough, or there's something wrong with it. Like, I don't know, I just feel like there's something I could have done a little bit more, and I just missed out on the opportunity and all that stuff, and I just feel bad. <laughs> um, but, like, and, oh, and number two is I have a lot of trouble, like, decorating rooms. Like, I'm like, okay, it has a bed. It's good. Move on to the next one. Oh, wait, no, I need to add a table and, like, a lamp and, and some sort of lighting accessories and this, that, and the next thing, and... And, and yeah, like, it, it's kind of crazy how this turned out. <laughs> but, yeah, no, like, I had tons of fun doing this. And, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, the roof actually looks good right now, which I'm very happy with. I was having a lot of troubles with finding some nice windows that actually looked good in that location. As you can see, those are the ones that I actually did finally decide on. I only know that because I have the picture to the left of me <laughs> right now <laughs> of the final um, look of it. Um, yeah, so I, I pretty much did all the... F I guess I kind of cheated because I did all the foliage uh, based off of the picture and where that was because, again, I'm really bad at foliage. I don't know if you guys have seen my house of trees or homes or whatever, but like... Literally, I just kind of made an excuse and was like, yeah, it's supposed to be this way. It's an open forest. 
And uh, then I was like, oh wait, I uh, I don't want <laughs> to do this. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't know how to do this, so I didn't know how to make it look right, so I just kind of skipped it, which I wouldn't recommend, <laughs> by the way, because yeah, it is what it is, but. <laughs> I really hope you guys can hear my dog right now, but she's barking. Uh, this is me trying to make some decisions in the back of the house because the back of the house, I don't have a picture for. I was just kind of thinking, what can look good here? All right, this works here. This is perfect. Next. <laughs> Moving on. Um, yeah, this is so weird having like a full, I don't know. I think I get to some um, decorating. But most of this video is just me building the house, if you haven't realized already. But um, I'm obviously a, a huge fan of uh, the Vampire series, the Vampire Diaries. Um, I've seen the Vampire Diaries up to season five, six and a half-ish. Um, five or six times. I personally think that the Vampire Diaries, like the first three seasons, are the best. Um, once the main character, Elena, leaves, I just, I can't sell myself to watch it, and I just, I don't know, I'm still a huge fan, like, it's still, I think, turned out really good, in my opinion, uh, I haven't actually watched any of the recent seasons, because I've been scared of what they've done, to be honest, but I'm sure I'll love it when I do see it, and, yeah, um, but I just, when I envisioned this, this is kind of crazy to me, because, like, if you look, like, if you watch the, the thing where they're, I don't know if they're teaching, obviously not Rebecca, but one of, if you're a Vampire Diaries fan, you would know this, but, um, they're teaching a vampire how to, like, their vampire abilities and such, and they did it in, like, on the front lawn in front of the house, and I thought that was super cool. Um, whenever I made the front of the house, because I just, I just envisioned that scene over and over and over again in my head, thinking, man, it's super, super, super cool, like, unbelievable, A+, plus, you know, <laughs> all that fun stuff. And this is me designing the inside of the house, uh, making some decisions on fencing and, and what kind of fancy fencing I want. Now, this is the problem. Like, when I deleted that, the roof came in, so I was like, okay, I won't do that. And I'm really glad that I didn't do this, because... I uh, also realized I'm really bad at, at doing floor plans because of two reasons. Actually, no, just one reason. I forget to put in bathrooms. <laughs> and because I forget to put in bathrooms, um, I kind of find interesting places to put bathrooms. Because originally, behind the stairs, I wanted to have a little, like, nook or, like, a study area where they have, like, a really old computer because even though they could have normal computers in the Vampire Diaries, I just, I don't see them having any source of technology or anything. And the really funny part about this is that, like, there's actually not a single TV in this place. Only thing that is here is a computer and it looks like it's from the 1980s <laughs> it's crazy um another problem was having i just kind of blocked it off that the roof was glitching through the house again again i don't remember how i fixed it but it did eventually get fixed and the game did recognize it as being in a room so it got rid of that so i did make that work but at the moment i was like you know what fine i'll just take that part of my floor plan like i'm not dealing with it um but yeah, I know, and then this is when, when I put that little roofing on top of the, the side area, like, where the, like, on the right, the far right, and all that stuff, like, it was going through that one wall, and I'm like, I can't fence this off, I've had enough of this, I'm going to fix this, and that's when I fixed it, <laughs> and that's in Stefan's room, because I do create Stefan and Damon's room, I remember one of the scenes in the movies, uh, not in the movies, the, <laughs> the TV show, where Damon's like, Oh, just choose one of our six bedrooms to stay in. Um, so I made this house have exactly six bedrooms. I know that he said guest bedrooms, but I honestly couldn't fit any more the way I wanted it to, even though I probably could have made it a little bit better. But uh, we don't need to talk about that. Am I right? <laughs> um, 
but yeah, no, like, this is me just fixing some of the roof, and I promise you, pinky promise, that the roof does get fixed. I do, like, every now and again, I do some tweaks and some fixes, and I fix it, because, again, there's parts and pieces and stuff that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever, and yeah, like, <laughs> I fix it, and I'm very proud of the fact that I fixed it. Now, that particular roof that I'm working on, like, that piece of roof that I'm working on right now, I actually did not fix, but I made it look like it was fixed, and you wouldn't have known that unless I told you, so just don't look for it, <laughs> probably in the next video, because I did actually finish this today, um, and I think it turned out amazing, in my personal opinion, so, yeah some very interesting like looks throughout the um I guess interesting shaped rooms because of the narrowness of the the building like I said before now I knew as soon as you walked through the front door of this building I wanted that big amazing living room that is like almost in every single scene in the Salvatore house to be there so that's why I, literally I spent the most amount of time I started decorating in that room first because I knew that that room was the most important room in the entire building it had to look almost identical to what the one is in the TV show and I personally think that it isn't identical but it is darn close I even looked up like six pictures I made it look as close as I could but the problem with some of it was that I had two things I wanted to add to it um, that I was unable to. A, I think that's in like some sort of set because like the actual thing around it, um, like there's windows on like almost all four sides of the house, like of the living room. And I just don't know how they did that because I have house going from right to left so the windows don't actually fit. Now the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted a place for Elena. Now if you haven't seen um, the Vampire Diaries, I don't want to spoil it for you, but that coffin in the living room, which we will get to in this part, um, may is it in the part? Maybe it's in the next one. I have no idea. <laughs> There's a coffin in the living room. It was a very important person, also known as Elena Gilmore, because I already said it, and I can't edit it out because I don't feel like it. Uh, <laughs> but, um, no, she's in a coffin, and you may want to watch the series to find out why. Because I personally think... Sorry, Thomas is calling me. <laughs> <clears throat> but no, I personally think that, well, I'm not going to give it, I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give away what happens to Elena, but at the moment, that's just what I think. I think Elena is in the coffin, and that the portrait that I put beside the, like, the coffin is of Elena, and she's in there for, like, I don't even know how long. You guys don't need to worry about that. All you need to worry about is watching the series, and if you watch the series, you know what it is, because, Yeah. <laughs> And that's why I wanted it to be in the living room, because I knew I was unable to put it in the hall, because the hall goes right and left, as opposed to in the TV show, where it just goes right. And I had to do that because of the layout, again, of the house, and the shape of it, and just how it turned out. Because I was limited to my space, because of the lot size, and I was also limited by the actual front shape of the house, because of the, the picture that I looked up. Another thing I was kind of really upset about when it came to making the flooring is that I don't know if there's a way to do this. I, I, I really don't know. I really want to find out because if there is, I may go back and fix this build because I think I saw someone build a couple days ago and it was, they made like carpet, but they made half carpets for like diagonal flooring. And I just, I really want to know how they did that because I, like, the triangular flooring instead of square. Oh yeah, see, there's the coffin. There's, don't worry about it. It's just a random coffin. It's a pretty nice coffin. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but, uh, no, like, I want to figure out how to put carpet down properly. I really, really wanted to use the brand new carpet in the vampire, like, the game, vampire game pack. Uh, I gotta keep reminding myself that it's game pack. But I could not because of size restraints, the fact that it kind of kept glitching out, the fact that I'd have to double layer them every single time, and the fact that it was getting super annoying and hard to deal with and would actually take 30 minutes to do. So I was like, screw that, I'm gonna do what I want to do, 
and that is I wanted red flooring, and because the carpets didn't weren't red, I made that at, like that decision a long time ago. This is me trying to fit the red carpet in. I didn't. I don't like. I don't like that. That's not what they have. They have pure red carpet. They don't even have a junction point for the carpet. Like the carpet would have to overlap and it'd be really like this really awkward looking thing. So that's why that changes almost immediately. I don't know, as soon as I get in and I for another session of building this, because this took me four sessions to build, um, I just got rid of it right away. I was just thinking in my head, I'm getting rid of this, I'm changing the living room, I'm doing this, because yes, the living room does not stay like that, I promise you. It does change. And hey look, this is the next part. <laughs> I can just tell by looking at it. Like, oh yeah, this is the next sitting. This is sit sit down number two. <laughs> this is me fixing the roof and adding some additions and, and kind of making it look interesting because I looked at a photo. This is when I was actually starting to look at the photo and the thing because I was running out of inspiration to put in what like what was inside of the actual living room because I, I really didn't know. So I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna stick this here. <laughs> also, you can kind of tell when I go in and out of um, sessions. I do edit out the saves and stuff but I don't edit out the um, BB dot move objects cheat that I always have to put on when I enter the game. And uh, so yeah, but again, this is in two parts. There's no screenshots at the end of this part. The other part will have all the screenshots to be more exact. Six minutes and 14 seconds of screenshots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to make a house this big or this expensive ever again. Because it's actually ridiculous ridiculous how expensive this thing ends up. It ends up being around 480, so I'm gonna say 500, I honestly don't know the number, so it's in between 400, $450,000 to $500,000. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what sim can afford this, but you need to be almost a millionaire to afford this. And I think that's really hard to do in The Sims. Now, mind you, I mean, you could do that with, like, a whole bunch of, like, computers or, like, paintings and stuff. And I do think that's what made the price go up is because there is so many paintings throughout. Because I just feel like they'd have a ton of really expensive paintings all over the house of people. Um, unfortunately, Sims doesn't have a really big, large collection of paintings of people. So there is of random things. But all of them... Or most of them have gold borders, and that's the most important part, <laughs> is the gold borders. Anyway, we're coming up on the end of this quite shortly. It looks like we have a minute left. Um, and I don't. this is really weird having like my first two-parter. <laughs> Um, because I thought, I like, when I put it together, I was like, oh my gosh, this is 45 minutes, <laughs> like, and that was just speeding up, it had nothing to do with screenshots, it would be a 50 minute video, who wants to sit through that? No, you need sessions to do that, <laughs> just like how it took me four sessions to build this house. Anyway, uh, I do appreciate everyone who has been downloading all of the content on the gallery, um, it's really awesome seeing my stuff getting downloaded and liked, and all that stuff because I honestly I don't think I'm that great of a builder but some of you guys think I am so I do appreciate that and I really hope you uh, are enjoying these sims builds and I'm glad you've stuck around with me um, anyway I'll see you in the next part it's more Sablani signing out